Hello everyone, um, I'm here to review the uh, comparison between using a standard spinning hard drive versus a new solid state drive that I got. I got a, um, an M SATA 120GB Crucial uh, hard drive, it has read speeds of around 500 and write speeds around 150 uh, megabytes a second. And what I'm going to be doing here is, right now I have the hard drive in, and I'm going to be doing two boot ups. And, uh, the way I'm going to test when to stop is once the uh, spinning wheel around the cursor goes away, just so I have a benchmark equally for both uh, setups. And I'm going to use my phone here as a timer right next to the display. Um, the computer has nothing in the startup menu, and uh, I went to like the Microsoft config file to uh, remove as much as I could, and it's plugged into AC power. Uh, this is a Lenovo W520. I don't know if you can see, but it's a W520. Um, now granted, I haven't done a clean OS install, uh, so obviously if you reinstalled 7, you would probably get faster. Um, this is because, you know, things, I've got programs and software on there that is trying to look for registries or files or something strange like that. And uh, obviously if you use a, uh, if you cleanly installed it, talking straight from scratch, I don't feel like doing that because that would take a long time for the quick comparison I'm doing. Um, however, this is pretty much what I've been living with the past couple of years, and I want to see the performance boost that I get out of a solid state drive, so we're going to go ahead and do two boot ups, and we'll see how fast we go. So this is the hard drive boot up. Okay, so this is the startup from solid, or sorry, excuse me, uh, internal 7200 RPM drive, and we're going to be, I'm going to be pressing the power button and the start in three, two, one. Now I may speed this up in post-production, uh, depending on how long it takes, so we're going to see how that goes. Still... 15 seconds later. Okay, so we've got the, uh, we're about to load Explorer here in just a second. So there we still got the, uh, circle swirling around. I'm gonna get ready to stop it, although I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon. Okay just under two minutes. Uh, one minute, 58, 56. So, uh, there's that one. And in just a second, we're gonna start the other one, so stand by. Okay, so we're completely turned off again. Uh, it took, I'd say, right around 30 seconds to shut down, just in case you were curious. But I'm gonna start in three, two, one, go. Getting ready to stop. All right, that looks good. All right, so uh, 158 and 153. Uh, so you can probably estimate an average of about um, one minute and 50. I mean, as many times as I stop and restart this again, you're not going to have uh, the greatest accuracy. Uh, things might get cached better. Um, and I may have just stopped at a, at a different point, who knows, but we can obviously see it's right around a minute and 50, it's not the fastest thing. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and in, uh, remove the current hard drive, install the solid state drive, and install the OS on that, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, hello everybody. Um, just finished putting the SSD in the computer, as well as installing the OS, putting some programs on it, loading up my mail, doing a whole bunch of things, uh, took uh, actually a long time, it took me about five hours, that's besides the point. Um, 
I followed a guide that I found off Reddit. It's called the Solid State Drive uh, Optimization Guide that you can use. It does use Windows 8 as the install. However, it's the same exact thing for Windows 7. Take that, Dad. But um, it also gives you some really good tips on how to make sure certain tools are utilized as well as uh, different things to install and different websites to visit. So it's very, very helpful. Uh, so another tip that I ran into, this was very interesting. My network driver was not installed with Windows, which was really, really odd. Luckily, one of my USB ports in the back, not a USB 3.0 port, but a 2.0 port, was still working, so I used a different computer to download the network installer off the official Lenovo website, and then I could get you know Windows update working and things like that. So those updates ran for, I'd say, about an hour, an hour and a half. Then I just started re-putting uh, files over and installed one game uh, from a external hard drive just to put some files on the computer, you know, that way we're not having a completely stock uh, first boot. So we're going to go through two boots with the solid state drive. It does have the OS as well as some uh, a game or two and some uh, programs like Chrome and uh, other items like that. However, there's nothing running for startup. Like Steam shouldn't start up. Uh, other things shouldn't start up. It's going to be the same exact startup setup as before. Um, and we're going to see how well it works. So just stay tuned for a second and we will run this twice. Okay, so here we go. We're going to hit the start button and the power button at the same time in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, there we go. Um, everything's loaded up, and it only took 31 seconds, 19 milliseconds. That's roughly a quarter of what we were getting before. Um, I've been told over time it, it does get faster. And just to show you how fast it shuts down, I'm also just going to shut it down here, and we'll do a we'll do a reset again. Um, we'll we'll do a re uh, re time test. So it does shut down quickly. The programs which are installed on the SSD do run rather quickly. <sighs> and we're off. Okay, so we're going to reset the timer. And we're going to go ahead in 3, 2, 1, go. I got a weird glare on the screen, but you should be able to figure out what's going on. Not sure why it takes so long. Generally, I've seen boot times of about uh, 15 or 16 seconds. Uh, there it was a little bit faster. We've got everything loaded in uh, 29 minutes, seconds, and uh, 7 milliseconds. So, did really, really great. Uh, maybe over time it'll get faster after it creates some caches or something. Uh, however, these were the two uploads, and I'm going to go ahead and close things real quick. Well, there you have it. Um, the two different boot times on the hard drive versus the solid state drive. However, remember the hard drive boot time was not uh, a fresh OS install, so it's, you know, there's going to be some slow things, of some random file that's trying to start up at startup, or, you know, it's trying to seek out some random registry or something. So I would say we were getting around 1 minute and 50. I'd say with a fresh install, you could probably get 140. Uh, however, 30 seconds for the solid state drive is definitely a large improvement. Um, I'm going to link to the Reddit optimization guide down below as well as the solid state drive that I purchased. Uh, I think I said it was a crucial M500 M SATA 120GB drive. It clearly performs very, very well. Uh, and I was looking real quick online on other people's uh, boot times, and it seems like they seem to time it after the 
you know, Windows logo has appeared and then how long it takes to log in. Just for benchmarking purposes, I did it from right when I hit the power button. So hopefully this has been helpful for you as far as maybe if you want to get an SSD, if you think it's worth it or not. Um, and uh, it's really early in the morning and I'm kind of tired. So as a funny note, while I was working over here, I was working for like five hours and I happened to turn my head to the left and there was a spider crawling across the floor and I got it. So I saved myself, but I'm going to bed. It's really tired. PC's working really great. New vitalized system. Good night and good luck with all your builds. So talk to you guys later.